Happy video day, guys. It's here. It is finally here. Pat McGrath blushes. So yes, I have in front of me the Pat McGrath collection. I did pick up a few of the different formulas for you guys so I can try out a bunch of different stuff for you. I have the quad, I have a blush, and I have a highlighter. I'm gonna go ahead and try everything on for the first time on camera, and I'm very, very excited. So if you guys are new and you haven't seen me, I'm Christina Brooke. I love makeup. I also love to sprinkle in a little fashion here and there. So if you guys like those things and you wanna join the family, go ahead and hit subscribe. I would love to see you again but yeah so let's go ahead and let's get into this I want to zoom you guys in give you guys some details show you every single one of these products in action there's there's some wins here and there's some that I feel like are maybe not so much of a win but not like bad so we're gonna get into everything I'll tell you guys how it is and then at the end of the video I'll tell you guys my final thoughts so let's go ahead and let's dive into it all right guys we are zoomed in and we're gonna start playing with some Pat McGrath products so I did pick up the trio but the trio that actually came with one blush one highlighter and the palette. I thought that was the best way for me to be able to try the most for you guys and give you guys just kind of like an idea of the formula and everything that's kind of in the collection that I thought was the most important. So let's start off with the blush in the room because obviously most of us are so excited for the blushes. So the blushes come in this beautiful container. It's just a cardboard, but the packaging is just really, really pretty on these. And then when you pull it out, there is the compact. It's that beautiful lacquer black packaging that Pat McGrath always does. And there's a difference <laughs> because I was sitting here for quite some time trying to open this. So it actually has an area here for you to press in and you gotta press so hard. And even when you press hard, it doesn't always open. I was sitting here for, you see, I was sitting here for a while trying to open it just to see the color. And it takes, it takes a minute. Um, the best thing to do is push it down and then grab it from both sides and pull up. But even that doesn't always work all the time. So that might have been a little bit of a design doozy with the compact, but this is how beautiful the interior looks. This is an absolutely stunning, stunning embossing. It has a beautiful flower on it. And the color that I picked up was Nude Venus. So when you buy the trio on the Pat McGrath website, you could actually pick whichever blush you want. I thought Nude Venus was probably gonna be that shade that most people were going to like or at least gravitate to. So. I went with Nude Venus and I really think this is a beautiful color. So I'm excited to put this on. Let's go ahead and test it out, but let's first see what Pat McGrath says about these. So these are actually 38 US dollars each and there is a few different shades. She's also doing some trios that you could purchase the trios. And I think she separated the trios by skin tone. So there's like the light trio, the medium trio and the deep trio. And she does describe it as a layerable, luxurious, legendary blush and it's like an icon. It says that it has a, it has demi matte and satin finishes. So they're supposed to be pigmented, luxurious, it's supposed to go really nice on the skin. Pat McGrath's most asked for product was blushing. And the color that I picked up, Nude Venus, is actually described as a peachy pink with golden pearl. Ooh, that sounds pretty. So let's go ahead and destroy the embossing. <laughs> Ooh, pretty color. Let's see if we can get a nice little swatch there for you of the color. It has a really nice glide to it and that's what it looks like. It looks like it's gonna show up on my skin tone and probably be a nice little peachy, pinky color that actually could be really, really, really pretty. So we'll go ahead and grab my favorite blush brush. Now I will say the compact even though I don't like the opening. It is a really nice compact, you have to say, like this is a really pretty mirror and everything. But let's go ahead and apply Nude Venus. Two swipes now. Very pretty, I will say, I thought that these were gonna be a lot more pigmented, to be honest. I really thought that this was gonna be like, wow. So we're going in three times and then blending it out. And now I see a pretty nice coloration with building it up three times. And it is a really pretty color. So that is a really, really pretty color. It's not powdery. However, I do see a little bit of speckles 
Is that coming from here? And actually that kind of shocked me a little bit. I didn't know I didn't know that it was gonna actually have like little glittery in it, but it does have like little glittery particles in it. So let's go ahead and put it on this side. I dabbed in here a lot stronger so I could pick up more pigment. So straight off the bat, you could pick up more pigment, go in a little bit harsher with your brush and bring up more pigment. I am gonna put on a little bit more blush than I typically do because I wanna show you guys the blush. And I am a little shocked that there is like little loose glitters that are on the face. I wouldn't, I don't know why I wouldn't have expected Pat McGrath to have done it like that. I would have thought that maybe it would be more sheeny, not have little glitters. I'm actually kind of like looking in here going, am I sure that there wasn't something else on this brush that gave me the glitters? Like it's almost like one of those feelings like it's not supposed to be there, but I do see little tiny particles of glitter in different spots that it looks like an actual glitter particle and not like satiny, which I didn't expect that from this type of blush. And it is coming from here because if you look really, really closely, I don't know if you could see it on camera, but if you look really, really closely, you can actually see the little tiny glittery particles inside of the blush. I don't, I, I don't know if on camera you'll be able to see it, but yeah, it is coming from the blush. And I don't really love that. I'm gonna be honest. I don't really that I wish that I didn't have those I don't think I needed those little type type of glitters on my skin it reminds me of like when you have glitter fallout from your eyes and it kind of just like dabbles all over your face and you're like ah, and you want to wipe it off that's kind of what I feel right now I wish that wasn't there but the formula of the blush looks like it's pretty nice it's not a $38 blush like, no, it's not. It's not a $38 blush. The compact and everything makes it $38, but I mean like, that I think that this blush is like, out of this world amazing. It's okay, a very pretty color. I could see myself using it a lot. I love the way it looks on the skin, except for the little glitters that I'm like, why are you there? But other than that, it's a really, really nice color. What do I think? I think that it's a really pretty color. I like this one. I'm happy that I didn't pick up more than just one. Blush needed to be like pretty impeccable for me to say like, this is like, wow, for $38. And I think that the fact that the compact is a little difficult to open is gonna deter me from wanting to use this a lot. Like I almost feel like breaking it and leaving it broken. Like, I think that, that that's gonna be a pain for me. Like I'm never gonna wanna open this cause I know how I am. I'm always in a hurry. Ah, and that just takes so long. Hopefully it loosens up, but I almost feel like cracking this part so it just as easily op like opens or not. Yeah. Yes, I feel like breaking my $38 Pat McGrath palette to make it user friendly. So anyways, the blush is decent. Nothing out of this world. Pretty packaging, but I mean, it's a very pretty blush. What can I say? I want to try the palette though because I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I didn't buy the palette thinking that I was going to like it the most, but I think I might like the palette more than the blush, which is really funny. So here is the packaging of the palette. It opens the same way the blush does, same exact packaging. Actually cute, cute cartons, I have to admit. The palette opens a lot easier because <laughs> it's magnetic. So I opened this one super fast and I was like, oh my goodness. And then I was trying to open the other one for like an hour and I was like, oh my goodness. So anyways, the palette looks, oh, you see this palette is actually very, very beautiful. So the palette is called Venus in Floors. It's a luxe quad and it says voyeuristic vixen. Ooh. Okay, so and it looks like this. Um, I'm gonna hopefully show you guys some of the reflect because this is a palette with some, I think it's a dual chrome or something in it because it is changing and shifting colors on me. And then this looks like an interesting shade. It's kind of what made me wanna buy it because on her last release, the one for Valentine's, all the shades weren't really like interesting. <laughs> like they were like metallics, but there wasn't anything out, like there wasn't anything that made me say, wow, this is like $58 worth. Like, this one, when I saw this shade, I said, well, maybe. Well, maybe there is something special about this one. So that's the reason I really picked it up, was really just to see what this was all about. But let's go ahead and swatch them. This one right here seems like a nice sat. This one here seems like a nice um, shimmer. And it looks like that. And that's a pretty, that's a pretty color. That's a very pretty color. Nice inner corner highlight. That's pretty. I feel like mixing this with some of my other Pat McGrath palettes. 
Okay, let's try this matte. Ooh, nice. Oh, I think I'm gonna love this matte. Look at that color. That is, that is beautiful. So, oof, okay, yes. Oh my goodness. That's, that's a $58 matte. So let's try this one right here. I wanna see what the description is because this is a really cool shade. I want you guys to see the flip. It goes from like gold to peach. It's a really cool, cool palette. So let's go ahead and swatch it right next to the other one. This is a cool shade. That's a really cool shade. It reminds me of her Astral Blitz formula. I don't know. You know, it reminds me of the Astral Blitz and the fact that it has like a lot of sparkle to it, but it's not really a metallic, so I don't, I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm not really that familiar with um, Pat McGrath enough to tell you guys what kind of formula that is, but that does not look like a metallic and it's not the Astral Blitz because it doesn't have as much glitter in it, but it almost looks, it almost looks like a foiled shadow. I don't know. It's very interesting and it's a very cool shade. That is definitely different. And that is something that I feel like she gave us something interesting in this palette. Then finally, we have this one right here that's another nice little glittery shade that looks a lot more like a metallic. And the other one looks more like, kind of like a shimmer, I guess. And let's see what it looks like. It looks like that. So that's kind of like, it's kind of like a bronzy with a little pink inside of it. I almost feel like this vibe is reminding me a little bit of, um, of a palette that I have from Pat. We're gonna pull one out in a minute and see if there's anything similar. But these are really pretty shades. Very pretty shades. I wanna play with them on my lid because I wanna play with them on the lid though because obviously we can't tell enough from here. So let's go ahead and let's do a quick eye look. Huh, interesting. So since there is no kind of like matte shade that's light in here, um, what I'll do is I'll grab a little bit of this one and just use it very loose lightly and just kind of put it in the upper portion of the crease. I'm gonna try not to deepen it out too much so that it's lighter towards the center and then deeper towards the end. I just kind of want to use it to break apart the part that I'm going to put the strong metallic. So we're just going to do it like this. Um, it's okay that there is no like real like transitional shade, I guess you would call it in this palette because if the shadows are buildable, you can use them. However, me personally, I'm already thinking like I want to mix this with another palette. <laughs> It's just me personally. So what I'm gonna do is use, oh, that's pretty. I'm gonna use this shade right here and just use it on the outer V and just kind of drag it in. Just, that is, oh, that's a, oh gosh, this is a pretty color. You know, if you're somebody who likes neutral looking eyes and you've always wanted a Pat McGrath quad, this might be the quad you'd want to go for because the colors in here are so easy to use and they're not like, they're not too shocking, you know? I want to grab this crazy amazing shade right here and just put it on the lid. Just, oh my god. That is such a cool shade. I want, this is a cool shade. It's a little bit like, I want to say it since it's like a foil, it's like a little bit see-through. So I want to try putting it on with a brush just so that the pigment places. I wonder if I should use a glitter glue for this, but I don't know. It's going to fall all over the place. This is an interesting, this is an interesting shade. I feel like this is going to be one that I need to figure out my favorite way of applying it. This is applying kind of like a glitter, but it looks like a foiled metallic but then it has like these little particles in it. It's very, very cool shade. I really like that shade. Need to play with the best method of application for it. So what I'm gonna do is grab this shade right here and put it in the inner portion just cause I wanna kind of just see. Oh, that's a pretty color too. Wow. It's similar in tone to this extra crazy metallic but since it's more of a straight metallic, you could see a difference between the two. Like almost like they have like almost like the same undertone idea. They have like the same idea. It's only one is like a straight metallic and the other one has like this cool dual chrome like glitteriness to it. Let me go ahead and finish this off with a deepening of the outer edge with this amazing matte. And then finally what I'm gonna do is in the inner portion, I'm just gonna go ahead and grab 
this color, which this looks like a perfect inner corner highlight. If you're somebody who likes to have like a nice beamy inner corner highlight, this is a really pretty one. I could, oh yeah. Yeah, that's so pretty. <gasps> so pretty. I like that, right? Okay, so now what I want to do is just grab a little bit of the darkest shade and put it on the lower lash line. Now, I do have a pretty nice amount of fallout because, um, you know, there's pretty strong metallics in here. So, I don't know, maybe you would want to do your face last or just going to have to go over with some concealer to kind of like clean it up if you really are going somewhere or if you want to have like a really, really clean lid. That is so, I mean, I have to admit though, the blending of these mattes is very, very, very amazing. Like this matte shade that she gave us in this, in this specific palette is absolutely stunning. So that's really, really cool. So what we're gonna do on this eye, we're gonna do the same exact thing. Only what I'm gonna do is kind of show you guys first what this regular metallic looks like because I wanna show you guys it on my eye. Just in case you're somebody who doesn't wanna play with that super glittery one, it kind of just looks like that. So it has like a peachy undertone to it, but this will help you create more of like a subtle look. So if you just grab a little bit of this and you deepen out the outer edge, you can create like a more subtle, a little bit more sophisticated look without putting in the whole glitteriness if you don't want to. And then you could save the glitteriness for like if you're gonna go out at night and you wanna just add a little pizzazz to your look, then you can add in that foiled metallic after. But yeah, I'll make these looks look exactly the same. Just I just wanted to really show you that this has the versatility to do different looks. It's a little limiting because you're only getting four shades. Let me go ahead and finish off the eye, put on some mascara, and we'll get into the highlighter. All right, so we went ahead and put on the mascara, finished off the eye look, and here is the final look. I love it. It's very, 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 very pretty. All right, so I'm loving this palette. I love this a lot more than the Valentine's one, and yeah, I'm actually pretty excited with the palette. I really like the look. I'm pretty excited with that one. We'll get into some more thoughts in a minute, but let's jump into the final thing that I picked up from the collection, which is the highlighter. It comes in that same packaging, just like everything else, and it has the little thing. This one was a little bit easier to open than the blushes, but it's still a little bit of a pain. Look at that highlighter color. Ooh, that's pretty. So, oh, did I tell you how much the palette cost? I don't think I did. Yeah, the palette is 58 US dollars, in case you were wondering. And finally, the highlighter. So the highlighter retails for 48 US dollars. It's a pricey little highlighter. And it is the Skin Fetish Divine Glow Highlighter, and it's called Golden Nectar. Now, when I read Golden Nectar, I almost didn't pick this up because I thought it was going to be gold. And I was like, Ey. like that's probably not going to work for my skin tone. But uh, the bundle, you saved a pretty good amount of money. And I just said, let's just, I don't have a Pat McGrath highlighter. Let's just try it. And I'm so happy I did because this actually looks like a beautiful color. I'll go ahead and swatch it for you guys next to all my other swatches. Here is the highlight shade. So you guys can see, it's kind of like a champagne-y highlight. It's not really like super deep. It has a little bit of pink in it, which makes me happy because I used to love the Maybelline one and that one had a little pink in it. It used to be my favorite and now I stuck my fingers into the highlight. So there goes my beautiful Instagram photos of it. But anyways, let's go ahead and let's try it. Ooh, this looks like it could be pretty impactful that's pretty oh i like that that's very pretty look at it right very skin like but it does give a nice impact i can see myself using this color too a lot because i love golden i love champagnes and especially champagnes with pink in it like that would be like my ideal color champagne with pink in it and that's exactly what you're getting here so this is an absolutely Stunning highlight, like beautiful highlight. Ooh, that's pretty. And it does look skin-like, like it has like a skin-like effect. It doesn't do like that powdery look. It doesn't really look to me like it's sitting on top of the skin. You can see that you put like a little bit of highlight on your skin. That's always gonna be the case when you're putting something bright, but, but it looks really, really pretty. And I like the way it looks on the skin. So yeah, the highlight is absolutely beautiful as well. 
So yeah, here is my face of Pat McGrath. Let's zoom out. I'll give you guys some final thoughts and yeah. All right, so everything is on my face and you guys saw, I think I have my favorite products in the collection. I have to really give it to the palette on this one. I love this palette, okay? So if you're like me and you're somebody who likes a little bit of more neutral looks, you're not really like somebody who wears very colorful looks on the daily, maybe you like to play with color every once in a while, but your go-to is more neutral, this is beautiful. I love this brownish color that has a little bit of burgundy in it because I love those type of shades. And this one just has the right amount of burgundy, the right amount of brown to make it almost like a perfect color to me. Like this color here is perfection to me. Just love the tone of it. The blendability is insane. I love this as an inner corner highlight. I think this is a perfect shade. I also think that if you want it to be beamy, you could probably even put it on the cheekbone if you want like a beamy highlight. And then this is a really cool shade. It gets all over your face. <laughs> It's a mess, okay? So this is one that you probably wanna put a glitter glue down when you wanna use it, or just know that you'll probably have a little glitter on your face. If you're cool with that, then you'll be cool, or you just do your face last and maybe you'll have a little drops of glitter throughout the night, but this shade is something. It's really, really, really beautiful, and it doesn't feel as texturized as maybe her Blitz Astro ones feel, so it's actually a little bit more comfortable. I actually feel like this shade right here is a little bit more comfortable for me than the Blitz Astro formula, so I really like this formula. It's interesting. I like it. And then this right here is a beautiful, be beautiful rose tone metallic. It's absolutely stunning. I think that this palette would probably even even pair really nicely with the Valentine's palette. So if you guys picked up the Valentine's palette, one of the complaints that I had about this one is I felt like it went very bland, like you didn't have enough depth in it, like you were missing depth. It also didn't have anything special about any of the shades. All the sh shades were like, okay, you know, the mattes blended beautifully, the metallic was just a plain metallic, and then this one was like a shimmer, and it was like, okay, you know, it wasn't like anything out of this universe. But now I'm thinking I wanna play with both of these together. And I think that the depth in this one, like throwing in that brown with this matte shade right here is gonna make me be able to be like, yay, I really love this. Now, one thing I really wish Pat McGrath did was give us the ability to pop these shades out. Because in reality, I would love to pop out one of the metallics in here and throw in this shade right here. I feel like that could have made this palette almost perfect for me because I could definitely use a, a matte like this one. I quickly wanted to compare it to my mothership. So this is, I always forget the name of my mothership. My mothership that I have is I have mothership five. And I want to compare it really fast because I love, that's my favorite one. It's the only one I have, but it's the only one that I literally was like, I need you in my life. So I kind of wanted to compare it because there is like a similar idea going on between these two. Can you guys kind of tell like there's a similar idea? Now, I do not believe any of these shades are going to be identical, but I do want to show you the most similar ones. So I'm going to go ahead and first grab this color from the Mothership. This is this beautiful brown that I love in this palette. So this is the new one and this is the Mothership. The formula of the new one is better than the mothership, okay? So I knew that that matte felt incredible. But then if we keep going, this kind of metallic-y color right here, I'm gonna compare it to this one right here in the mothership. So this one right here is the mothership and this is the new palette. So one is more pink and the other one goes a lot more kind of champagne-ish. So I don't know why, but I feel like this beautiful metallic it reminds me of this one up here. Like I know that they're not probably gonna be the same and I think this one is one of her special formulas, but it just reminded me. So I'm just gonna put the Mothership first and then the new one. The colors are similar, but the formulas are very different because one is coming from her Mothership that has like that glittery, very beautiful formula. And then the other one is more of just like a straight metallic, but you can see like, color story here has a very similar vibe depending on how you look at it but if you look at it more in a gold way it could look similar to this one from the mothership so i'll put the mothership first and then that's the new palette so if you guys can see these are the similarities between mothership five which i have to say not exact not exact but yeah 
yeah, you know, like they have a similar color story. I so if you have this one and you don't want to have one that's like travel size, you can probably skip this one. It's not like life changing difference of hues here, just so you guys know. So I really, really love the palette. I think the $58 price tag is more worth it on this one than it was on the Valentine's one. I think the Valentine's one was not worth it. I think this one is a little bit more worth it because she's giving you something special with this foiled shadow that is actually very different. Now, when it comes to the blush, I can't say the same about the blush. I have to be honest with you guys. The blush is very, very pretty. I don't like this compact. I feel like it's very hard to open and I feel like people are gonna have a complaint about that. But besides that, the blush, even though it's so beautiful, I mean, the formula is okay. It's a pretty formula. It looks nice on the skin, but like, can I say, oh, this is so much better than XYZ blush? I can't. It wasn't like the pigmentation was like, wow, I've never seen anything like this. It didn't do like this really cool sheen to the skin that I had never seen before. I feel like it was a nice, pretty, safe, blush. It's $38. I'm so happy that she didn't price this at $48. I feel like $38 is a good price for a Pat McGrath product, but in a bl but for a blush in general with the quality that it has, it's good, but I'm I think the blush itself is more like $28. With the packaging, I could see how it would cost $38. However, we're not putting the packaging on our face, so the formula is what is important in here, and I think the formula is an okay formula. It's decent, it looks pretty, it's a good formula, it's solid, but it's a high price tag to buy the whole thing, so I would definitely say it's worth a shot if you guys like Pat McGrath. I would buy one, and me personally, I'm not gonna buy another one. Like, I'm gonna keep using this one, and if she comes out with like an amazing color I've never seen before, maybe I would buy another one, but it's not like that type of product that I'm like, I need more. It's not like that. But then again, I'm not a huge like blush person. I like blush, but it's not something that I need like 5,000 of. So however you guys see it. Now the last product is the highlighter. Okay, so now the highlighter has me a little confused because I love this formula. I have never tried a Pat McGrath highlighter, so I don't really have anything to compare it to. I can compare it to other brands highlighters. And I have to say for the color that this is, I love the way my skin looks. I love the color, I love the finish, I think it's stunning. This formula is interesting. When you put it on, it feels silky, a nice, rich, luxurious feel to it. There's something about it. Like it doesn't need all that crazy embossing to make it look luxurious because the product itself is luxurious. It feels and looks amazing on the skin. So the $48 price tag I think is high. However, I do think in this instance, you're getting a special formula and you're also getting a beautiful compact. So it makes it a little bit more worth it. So yeah, that's what I have to say about this new Pat McGrath collection. That's everything that I picked up. I wanna know from you guys now down below. Let me know what you guys got, what you guys liked, what you didn't like. And if you guys like any of these products, I will have them linked all down below as well as the bundle that I picked. I believe that some of these are gonna be available at Sephora by the end of this week. So. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. Go ahead and subscribe if you have not already, and I will talk to you guys later.